Hey guys, this is Zach with ECS Tuning, and today we're gonna to be doing a quick DIY install of our own ECS Tuning transmission mount. Uh, this mount fits uh, Volkswagen Mark 7 Golf, Golf R and GTI, as well as Audi 8V A3 and S3. Uh, this is a great mount, it's machined from 6061 aluminum, uh, and the, the poly is a custom blend that we spec'd that we found to absorb a lot of noise, vibration, and harshness, while still really minimizing drivetrain slop and giving you that really connected feel. Uh, so these are wonderful mounts. Um, so we're gonna get right to it, show you how to install it, and uh, go from there. We'll have DIYs on our engine mount and our dog bone mount as well, so check them out. All right, we're about to install our transmission mount, but we've gotta get a few things out of the way first. Uh, you'll notice that we've got the air box removed already. Uh, so if you need any help doing that, check out the link in the description below to a video that we already made that shows you how to remove your stock air box. Next, we gotta pull the battery out. Uh, so we'll pull the battery and the tray out, and I think we'll also need to remove the ECU. So we'll start with a 10 millimeter, uh, pull off the negative terminal first. by the positive. And then we'll loosen up the battery tray and then we should be able to get the bag off. The tray is held down by a 13. Okay, now we should be able to pluck the battery out. And next we'll get the tray out. Okay, so we need to get the battery tray out, which requires uh, disconnecting these cables from the battery tray itself. And they kind of run right under the ECU, so we're gonna pop the ECU out first. Uh, all you gotta do is, you know, pull back on these little levers and they will release the connectors. Work that out. That's kind of trapped in there, so to get it out the rest of the way, we'll just lift up here. Okay, so we need to get the uh, positive cable off of the battery tray. Uh, so there's a little fir tree down there. We'll give it a quick tug up, and then release this clip with a pick. All right, now that we've got the positive cable out of the way, we're gonna remove the battery tray. Uh, so we need to remove three 10 millimeter bolts. We've got one up front, one here, one here, and then a 10 millimeter nut at the back. So we'll pull those out real quick. Okay, so I forgot that there's another clip uh, on this harness at the back of the battery tray, so you need to disconnect that with a pick like the one at the beginning. All right. All right, so removing the ECU holder is quite simple. Just two 10 millimeter nuts. All right, so now we need to pick up this uh, wire channel. Uh, there are like four fir trees at the bottom, maybe three. So on either end, you just get under it and give it a quick tug up. And then we should be able to get to the body side bolts of the trans mount. Okay, so we need to support the engine and transmission uh, while we remove the transmission mount. So I've got a floor jack and I've got a little rubber block on it. If you don't have a rubber block, a piece of wood will do fine, like a little piece of two by four and you just want to slide it under there, find a nice flat spot, and just support the weight of it. You don't want to go jacking real hard or anything, you just want to support it. So, get her under there. Just like that. All right, so there are four bolts under the wire channel. They are 16s. We're gonna pull those out first. 
I've got a long extension on a 3 8 ratchet with a swivel 16. You want to try your best to make sure that you don't move the engine from its original location uh, when you jack it up. You just want to jack it up enough to assume the weight of it, but you want to make sure you don't move it back or forth or anything so you keep it in its original orientation. All right, now that we have the body side bolts out, we just need to remove the trans side bolts. There are three of them and they're 18s. transmission mount. Let's replace it. All right, so here we have our ECS tuning mount and with it comes this battery tray support bracket that will go on top and it'll sandwich between the mount and the bolt heads. So you're gonna install it like this uh, and you'll need to replace all the bolts that came out of the original mount, which are included with the uh, ECS tuning mount. Uh, because as you know, all of these bolts are stretched to yield and can only be used once and must be replaced. So. Let's get that in. Okay, so for torque specs, uh, the 16 millimeter bolts on the body side are gonna be 37 foot-pounds plus 90 degrees, and the 18 millimeter trans side bolts are gonna be 44 foot foot-pounds plus 90 degrees. Okay, plus 90 for everything. Okay. All right, so the last thing you need to do before you're ready to put everything back together is install the included speed nuts on the battery tray bracket. Uh, and these will allow you to put your battery tray back on with the supplied hardware. Uh, you wanna make sure the threaded side is on the bottom of the bracket. Now you just reassemble everything we took apart and that's it. All right guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you with your install, made things a little bit easier. Uh, if you have any questions about what we installed, take a look at the links in the description below. Uh, leave us any comments down in the comments. And as always, please subscribe to our channel and give that thumbs up button a press. Uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.